In the next few minutes, you will learn how to make two styles of gauge chart in Excel that will add unimaginable flair to your presentations. We will start with a half circle speedometer style gauge chart and move on to a full circle completion chart later in the video. Both are super useful for creating engaging presentations and can be used to represent progress towards goals, whether those goals are sales targets, marketing, or personal development. As always, I'd like to welcome you back to Classical Finance, where we create guides to make your professional life easier. I've added a workbook in the description below, so you can follow along if you'd like to. It has the gauge charts we're working on today, so if you get stuck, you can have a look at the examples there. Excel has inbuilt functionality to create many charts, but for this one, we need to get a little bit creative. The way we create a gauge chart is by overlaying a donut and a pie chart, where the donut represents the dial and the pie chart represents a needle. We will also have a control panel so that the chart can be updated when changes are needed. They are great for adding a visual component to dashboards and are a thrill for Excel nerds like me. So let's get started. To begin with, we need to create a table with six values, five of which will represent segments of our chart and the sixth will be hidden. Each of the segments are the same thickness so that we create a uniform dial. We can vary the number of segments by reducing or adding to the value of each segment. If I wanted 10 segments in this gauge chart, I would put 10 tens instead of 520s. The important thing is that it adds up to 100 in our case. To get started, we will highlight the data in our first table and create a donut chart. This creates the foundation for our dial, but as you can see, it's not there yet. Let's remove titles, keys, backgrounds and borders to create an isolated donut chart. We are going to add the title back in later, but we will do this without using the inbuilt functionality. Change the angle of the first slice to 270 degrees so that the segments are evenly spaced on the top half. We will then make the bottom slice no fill, so it becomes invisible. Now our chart is starting to look like a speedometer. Add a color scheme by selecting each slice and adding a color to it. I like to use a single color and vary the grade of that color. Excel has theme colors built in, so we can highlight each segment and select a different shade of whatever color we choose. In this video, we're going to go with yellow, but you can go with whichever color you like. Now we need to add the needle that will show the completion percentage. We are going to do this by overlaying our donut chart with a pie chart. We will then create a segment within the pie chart that will act as a needle for our gauge chart. This will allow us to change the thickness of the needle whenever we like, and it will be one of the values we can change in our control panel. To do this, right click on the donut chart, select data, add a new legend series by clicking on the plus icon and use the data from our second table. Our second table contains the completion percentage that we want our needle to sit at. The next value is for the thickness of the needle. I have chosen three just for the video, so you can see it. But to be honest, I prefer a thinner needle because it looks more professional when presenting data. The final value is a calculated one based on how far round we want the needle to sit. The formula for this is the sum of the values in the first table minus the completion minus the thickness over two. This ensures the needle sits in the right place. We now need to change the chart type to a pie chart and set the angle of the first slice to 270 degrees, as we did with the donut chart. We want our pie chart to sit on an independent axis to our donut chart. So we will change the axis to the secondary axis and no fill everything except the needle segment. And we're done. Now we can adjust the completion percentage and it will reflect on our chart. If you've managed to keep up, well done. But the dashboard isn't finished yet and we still have one more type of chart to go. On the next worksheet, we will add another gauge chart, but this time it will be a full circle. We can set this up by adding the number of segments we want to use. You can use any number to do this, but if you want it to be evenly spaced, make sure all the segments have the same value. I have chosen 20 segments for this example, so each segment represents 5% of the circle. But if you want a more detailed chart, you can add more segments. For example, you could use 2.5 as the value and create 40 segments. 
To create our graph, highlight the table and select donut chart. Remove the border, keys, and background again. Then fill all segments with the same color. We will then overlay this donut chart with a pie chart. Right click on our chart and click on select data. Click on the plus and then highlight our completion and still to go percentages. We then want to no fill the completion percentage and just keep the still to go percentage. We will then change the color to white and the transparency to 20%. Now we can no fill the completion percentage and we're gonna change the color of the still to go percentage to white. We're then gonna change the transparency to 20% and change the chart type to a pie chart. Now we're going to change the formula in C1 to make sure it adjusts automatically based on what's put in B1. Now we're going to test a few values and as you can see the chart updates as we make changes to B1. And there we have it, our second type of gauge chart. We're now going to add titles and formatting to make it look a little bit better. On this worksheet I've created a simple dashboard with some of the charts we created earlier. The way I like to format is not by using the inbuilt chart titles, but by instead highlighting the group of cells above the charts. Select Merge and Center, and add a background color that is the same as the chart color, and then make the text white. I'm going to do this for our three progress style charts and our three speedometer style charts. I'm then going to add the completion percentages to the center of the charts. For this, we will go to the Insert tab and add a text box. We will enlarge the font and add it to the center. Every time I use these charts, people love them and always ask how they were made. So it's worth trying to sneak them in to all important dashboards and presentations. And here is the final result. I hope this helps you with your dashboards and adds another level to your presentations. If you have any ideas for other styles of gauge charts that you would like us to create, let us know in the comments below and we may make your video next. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in our next videos. If you have any questions, I will be hanging out in the comments below. Thank you for watching.